small dumpster, big dumpster. Whoa! One, two, three, four, five flat screen TVs in one dumpster. Good. Hello everyone, AK is here. I just jumped to the dumpster and I got not five but six flat screen TV and one uh, monitor from computer. And about this uh, old TV, this TV from 2006, very old TV. Oh my goodness, usually in every flat screen TV there are three circuit boards, right? But here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight circuit boards in one TV. Oh my goodness, many IC chips with gold. Check this out. See many square four ways IC chips, and they all these gold plated wires. Also here connectors with gold plated pins, male, female, and actually with very good layer of gold. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Probably for most of you, all this TV are just garbage, right? But for me, this is treasure, a gold nugget. I collected everything that contains palladium gold and silver in TVs. And I put it in a deposit account in my bank. My bank is called Mini Storage. Yes, Mini Storage is my personal private bank. Today I want to extract some gold from my gold plated material. From 100 grams of my material I usually get at least half a gram of gold. So I want to take 2000 grams, 2 kilos, to get at least 10 grams of gold today. Two thousand grams exactly. Okay, all my gold plated material I will dissolve uh, in an aqua regia. I already prepared aqua regia. There are two hundred milliliters of water, fifteen hundred milliliters of uh, hydrochloric acid, and five hundred milliliters of nitric acid. All acids concentrated uh, acids, very strong acids. So uh, I want to dissolve uh, by 100 grams. So 100 grams, then another 100 grams. Little bit by little bit, I will dissolve all this uh, gold plated material. There you go. My material contain tin. A lot of tin. Not a lot, but yes, they are tin. And I believe some of you probably think right now why he didn't boil a material in hydrochloric acid to remove tin, right? Guys, I understand. If I will uh, boil my material in hydrochloric acid, I will remove tin and it will help me in future uh, to filter my solution. Yes, I understand. But problem is, when soldering gold plated material on the circuit board or micro circuits, diffusion of metals occurs. And as a result of soldering, part of the gold is mixed with tin. <clears throat> and uh, if I remove the solder with hydrochloric acid, I will lose the gold mixed with the tin. <coughs> this is why. Nitrogen dioxide, very dangerous gas. Jesus Christ, outside 18 degrees right now. <laughs> 
Okay, all 2000 grams of gold plated material has been dissolved. Very good. I spent 11 hours for that. Ooh, Jesus Christ, so cold outside. So um, I have some plastic, you know, beakers, uh, which absolutely doesn't matter right now. Uh, today I will I will be use uh, ferrous sulfate to drop gold. If someone looking for ferrous sulfate, guys, you can get it from my eBay store. I will leave a link down below. Okay. Okay, both solutions and ferrous sulfate is hot right now. Ready go. And now I need to boil it for about 20 30 minutes, but I'm not sure if possible or not because too cold outside. I hope I can do it. The solution doesn't boil. Mm, gold at the bottom and gold like dust. This is bad. This is waste bucket. Oh, dusty gold. Ooh. Very dusty gold, but you know what? Very good amount of gold actually. I like it. Oh yeah, dusty gold, it's okay. okay. Hot water, all the gold at the bottom and now I want to dissolve this gold again in Aquaridge. Very good. And also, I want to dissolve the gold powder from my previous video. Last time I didn't uh, melt this gold because it was not pure, not, not free nines. Uh, now it's a great time to clean it up to free nines, right? I think so. Hydrochloric acid. If you're new in my channel and if you want to know how I extract this gold, ah, I forgot to say, uh, here was 7 grams from my previous video. <laughs> so if you're new in my channel and you, if you want to know how I extract this 7 grams of gold, I will leave a link down below, okay? Okay, and nitric acid, 10, 10 milliliters for start and later I will add another 10 milliliters. Very go. Gold dissolving very well. Okay, all gold dissolved and I want to show you guys how much, how many, how much chlorides I have at the bottom. Metatinic acid, a lot of dirt. This is very, very good. Now time to catch all this dirt on the filter. Very good. What the heck? <laughs> I forgot filter. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Okay, one more time, and now this filter. <laughs> Color beautiful. Beautiful golden color. Awesome. Oh man, gold solution looks just unbelievable. Iron sulfate. Very good. Iron sulfate. Nice. Very good. Oh my god. Unbelievable. One more spoon. And now I need to boil my gold about 15 20 minutes. Very well, now I need to cool down solution. Oh my god, check this out guys, <laughs> awesome. Water. And now I will boil my gold powder in hydrochloric acid. My hydrochloric acid is not white, it's not uh, it's yellow color because uh, hydrochloric acid too old, but it's still very strong hydrochloric acid. There you go. Wow, color of gold just amazing. Whoa. Outside so cold. Water. <coughs> More water. Okay, now in my gold I doesn't have any iron sulfate. My gold is pure, clean. So basically I can melt it already, but just in case. I want to boil my gold in nitric acid too. There you go. Nit gold powder jumping in nitric acid. <laughs> Now my gold absolutely pure for 100%. There only gold and nothing else. Water. Oh my god. Good. Very good. Okay, one more time. Amazing. Gold so heavy, very, uh, very heavy. So now I need to dry it. This is what gold powder with a purity of three nines should look like.
very shiny surface of a gold bar. Beautiful. Okay, people, I decided to boil my gold bar in electrolyte to remove borax. Now my gold super shiny. Here's my pure gold ingot. Now, 7 grams of gold from this ingot. This is the gold from my previous video, remember? Now, from the 2 kilograms of gold-plated material that I dissolved yesterday, I expect to get at least 10 grams of gold now. So... Eighteen point six grams, which means I extracted eleven point six grams of pure gold from two thousand grams of gold plated junk, and this is absolutely not bad. What do you think? Thank you for watching. Take care.